let's act as though we weren't aware, because today we'll encounter even more bizarre stuff on the route. Let's get started right away. This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. Some crossings may lack flashing lights or gates. Treat them with extra caution, as the absence of these warning signals mean you must rely on your vigilance. An example for all those drivers who do not respect anything. Never attempt to cross until the train is passed and the crossing signals indicate it is safe to proceed. How such tremendously heavy vehicles can legally cruise along the same speed of a passenger car on the highway. In this case, a semi shouldn't be allowed to exceed 40 miles per hour no matter what. The faster you're driving, the more distance you need to stop safely. Adjust your following distance accordingly, especially on highways. Because he fell asleep while driving, a man rear-ended into a lorry on the highway. Luckily, he's okay. Hard to see what's going on behind, but the U-Haul did not have a signal light on when changing lanes. Vans do have a larger blind spot and must drive with extra care when changing lanes and watch for drivers behind. The driver in the light gray SUV had the right of way, but he was on the phone and didn't notice that the other driver wasn't going to stop. At least, there were no injuries. A motorcycle rider takes a turn with too much speed and ends up losing control in Blood Mountain. Luckily, he is fine. What is he doing? Me! Do not imitate this. Hopefully, the driver will be found for claim insurance. But it seems that Charles, he de even if he didn't work with them directly, he was definitely knowledge. In this situation, you just call the police and report hit and run, provide the license, and the police will report to your insurance. Seattle police released dash cam videos showing a carjacker speeding the wrong way up a one-way street. Well done, cops. Thankfully, loose tires didn't cause an incident for anyone. A Tata Nexon electric vehicle caught fire in what the company says is the first instance of such an incident. Man, please tow it more carefully. No one was hurt. Ah, uh, Eddie was on his phone. Now he will have a ticket worth $2,700. And this is the same case. It's the trucker's fault, but it's never a good idea to drive on the right side of the truck. This video illustrates why. In heavy traffic, slow moving conditions can lead to rear end collisions, especially if drivers are not attentive to the flow of traffic. This is why you must pay attention on the road. Well, there are a lot of accidents. What is the reason? Mm -hmm. 
No, mate. If you're unsure about the safety of overtaking, exercise patience and wait for a more suitable opportunity. And this is the same situation. Oh, the trucker's dash cam has a bad angle. How do you set the camera angle? Oh no, he was driving on a red light. Presumably the make of the car was Toyota Opra. He fled the scene of the incident. Who's at fault? You decide. Speed limit here is 55 miles per hour, and there are many blind spots which solid yellow aren't allowed to overtake to prevent collision. Oops, what's wrong with him? It seems he was distracted. Slow down, slow down! Don't be in such a hurry, folks. No, no, no! You shouldn't drive on the grass like that. Hope the driver is safe. It is good to see everyone coming to help him. When parking... The others need to gather themselves and simply put everything in order, else things would go south. At least no one was injured. This is the moment a display automobile headed onto an event and was struck. First, signal to telegraph your intent, then change lanes when clear. Oh my! driver of the UTE then bailed from the scene. It is crucial to remain at the scene and follow proper procedures. Leaving the scene of an incident is illegal and can lead to serious consequences. If the car accelerates by a few seconds, it is unthinkable. If there is enough space, attempt to steer away from the fallen tree. Choose an open path if available. Subaru WRX at $18,000 for repairs, but I think it is easily avoidable if they are paying attention to their surroundings. Both parties could have done better in this instance. This video starts out with far too many cuts, and based on experiences, there's a good probability the Lexus drives erratically, but the bus can dodge Lexus, so who is to blame here? If there is a safe place to pull over, so do so to assess the situation and have it repaired promptly to prevent the damage from spreading and compromising the integrity of the glass. No way! Perhaps the truck driver forgot the handbrake. Now I want to see who will foot the bill for all of this, along with the destruction of someone's home's entryway. Glad no one was hurt. When the vehicle ahead passed it, count one, 
two, three. If you reach the object before completing the count, increase your following distance. Exercise additional caution during adverse weather conditions, as visibility and road conditions may be compromised. If you notice any malfunctions or damage to railroad crossing signals, immediately report it to the appropriate authorities. Things happened on September 17, 2013. Remember folks, never attempt to race or beat a train at a crossing. Trains have longer stopping distances, and it's impossible to predict their speed accurately. We have a lesson here. Keep a safe following distance from the vehicle in front, especially when driving a large vehicle like a truck. Oh my, the incident happened at 6.19 p.m. The rush, together with the irresponsibilities of some drivers, is the main cause of incidents. Hope that more people will drive responsibly. If you're involved in an incident, get on the brakes, not the accelerator. Oh, oh my god! I say get on the brakes because there may be a chance of a secondary collision. So hold the brake, or better yet apply the parking brake. Get your breath, then pull over and park it. Use caution when driving in the winter, folks. We would definitely have to stop behind him in a safe place and see if he needs help, and not stand next to him and block the traffic. That is what we call safety distance. This is not a MotoGP track. This is a road where you can only use your lane. Two less distance. This is why you should always let your buddy go enough ahead when riding fast. The problem of thinking that there is time to blow the yellow light is eternal. When the traffic signal turns yellow, be ready to come to a stop if it is safe to do so. Recommend to stop if you can do so safely rather than rushing through the intersection. That driver should have known, but either didn't look or didn't care. It is entirely a matter of driving. Do you agree that the truck driver needs his license pulled and fired? Exercise patience and avoid feeling pressured to rush through a red light. It's more important to prioritize safety than to save a few seconds. I don't think it would be easy to get parts for the Santa Cruz. Oh, classic incident. And he just texted his boss that he's going to be late because there's a lot of traffic. Preliminary understanding showed that the drainage box culvert was old and a large hole collapsed, allowing half of the cement-ready mix truck to get stuck. This bus doesn't stop when there's no bus stop. Glad no one was injured. Other parties didn't even indicate their intention to turn. He had no way of knowing till it was too late. You got the number on the plates. I hope you handed the video over to the police. Folks, I have an issue. Was it an EV vehicle? I think buses need to be designed for such areas for additional traction, maneuverability, and with contingent safety features. Was it just going too fast and didn't slow enough in time to not slam the car in front of it? Wow, the black Fiat Punto appeared practically out of nowhere. 
Um, I don't know whether the BMW skidded by incident or whether the driver pressed the accelerator with the intention of drifting. Ugh, can't believe the skills we have on roads these days. Oh my! An apparently completely new white car did not give priority to the scheduled Arriva BKK bus service and drove in front of it. Glad no one was injured. Oh dear, the mixer comes to a halt only centimeters from a Ford territory waiting at the lights. Overtaking on the left, not giving way? Motorbike zipping through traffic should be careful. White truck driver noticed the irregular driving vehicle reversing on the highway late and drove into it. Both drivers were at fault in this incident. Following too closely because of distractions? Not cool, bro. You can see a Ford cut in front of the small goods carrier, the driver of which was rightfully frightened and steered to the left. This happened at the baggy exit on the M3 motorway. It can serve as a lesson in how much trouble can go from a simple lane change at high speed. I can tell with a thousand percent accuracy that many people were on their cell phone or radio instead of paying attention to the road. He owes the price of a car to the innocent driver. The driver may have thought that the oncoming traffic already had a red light. Yikes, it was not. The intersection is green. High-speed chase in a residential neighborhood is risky, but I hope all cops catch the criminals. Perhaps the pine tree desired to accompany him home. And have any of you guys started making plans for Christmas yet? The Ford in front indicated that he wanted to turn into the gas station, but he had to give way. But the Skoda Fabia drove behind it without braking, so this happened. The largest number of such cases occur due to falling asleep. A similar incident due to a technical fault is very rare. Glad no one was injured. The satisfaction of having a cop around when you actually want one. The driver probably fell asleep, although he said that the left side of the car suddenly started and he was unable to correct it. Hmm, that truck just had a not-so-friendly rendezvous with the center rails. I can't really tell what happened. I see the pickup truck had his blinker on, but why was the car passing like what? A truck sped up to the speed of light in the inner lane, but a couple of propped boards couldn't handle the wind and jumped down. What penalty should be affected? The cops shouldn't have resumed that chase. It was almost impossible to see anything. There was so much smoke. Certain that there was some technical problem. What happened, in my opinion, was that the driver in the outer lane accelerated while the truck overtook him so that he could not move back into the right lane and get stuck into the no overtaking section? Oh dear, he'd rather cut off a truck and break in front of a car to get over to the right lane. Or maybe he's trying to make himself into a sandwich. Really? How can he do that?
you can see a pickup trying to pass semi on the outside in a roundabout. Truck driver slams into a car while trying to reverse into a driveway at a busy intersection. But who is in the wrong? I wonder if public transport is allowed to drive on the shoulder during a traffic jam. One 18-wheeler was struggling to make a tight right turn as it went over the tracks in Slotesburg in Rockland County, New York. At least all of whom were unhurt in the incident. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.